Good afternoon and happy Friday the 13th and also um, I hope that some of you will get out to enjoy Tucson Meet Yourself which is happening right down here on our plaza and across the street this weekend um, opening up the great festival season that we have coming here to Tucson. Time to get out and enjoy the weather although we still are in October where you still might fry your face off. Um, uh, today I just want to do a little catch up on some things. Uh, I know you've been hearing from Judy and also from your ECAP representatives at your branch that um, it's that time of year for giving through United Way and the county in payroll deduction or one-time donations and so I hope that you'll all um, think about giving if you are able uh, during this time. The county departments do uh, encourage participation by all representatives of the county and it's a great way for us to give back to the community and I know that you are all super generous in your donations in the community in time and volunteering and as well as the amazing contributions that we give to the community food bank every year through our food bank auction so I don't want you in any way to think that um, I don't think that you give enough but this is a really great opportunity for all of us um, to share with the what has helped us in the community to give back. So that's one thing I wanted to mention today. And also, I needed to express to all of you how important it is for you to approve your timesheets. I know ADP is difficult. We've been working um, all the time in trying to uh, address issues as they come up with ADP, but it is very important that you approve your timesheets uh, every every time, every pay period, and the county has actually been audited by the Auditor General's office for last fiscal year. We're not sure what the outcome is going to be of that because about 10% of county employees uh, currently have not been consistently approving their timesheets, and so this is a an issue that's come up at the directors level meetings almost every time. So please. Please, I can't stress enough, work with your supervisor, work with your library services manager to ensure that you are able to approve your timesheets. Uh, I know there will be emergency situations where you can't, but the norm for every person should be that they do approve their timesheets. This is a legal document. Um, it's your way of proving what you worked. So please, please work with your managers on that. I wanted to give a big shout out to all of the new staff that we've been hiring and who have been attending uh, reference, I'm sorry, we've had so many name changes, Service University. Um, this is a great time for staff to get to know our learning culture here at PCPL and um, so welcome. I know some of the staff are have been with us and we've taken promotions, but for all of these, those of you who are new, please know that you're welcome. And um, we're looking forward to working more with you in the future. Um, as you know, uh, AZLA is coming up at the end of the month, the 25th, 26th, and 27th in Mesa. We have a lot of our staff who um, are involved with AZLA. This is the end of my past presidential year, so I won't be holding office with AZLA anymore. However, a big congratulations to Michelle Simon, who is the current uh, incoming President, well, she'll be pres vice president and then she'll be president next year. So, yay to Michelle Simon. And also, we have some of our folks who won awards at the, and will be recognized at AZLA this year. Jen Maney won the AZLA Leadership Award. Congratulations, Jen, you're a rock star. Justina Nolan won the Outstanding Youth Services Librarian Award. Justina, you're a rock star too. Great work. And we're so very proud also of. Vicki Lassero, who is, um, was honored with the Library uh, Support Staff Scholarship. So congratulations to all of those folks. And thank you so much for giving your time to the Arizona Library Association, which is an amazing organization that works to support libraries of all kinds throughout Arizona and also helps to provide um, a lobbyist with the state legislature. and. They keep an eye on things for us to make sure if there are laws being passed that affect libraries that we're able to have a voice in that conversation. So 
Um, they work very closely with the Arizona Library Association legislative team, and uh, that's a, a really great opportunity for us to um, get the word out about libraries in Arizona. If you do not belong to the Arizona Library Association, you might think about joining. Um, anyone at any level can join the Library Association, and it's a great way to get to know folks around the state who are involved in libraries and doing the same kind of work that you're doing as well. So thanks for your time this Friday afternoon. There's a lot of stuff going on. We'll be talking about more. Be sure and check out the uh, administrative blog online and uh, look forward to seeing each and every one of you. Have a great weekend and thank you for using your powers for good. Bye now.